Hey, what's up guys, Scamjiff here, and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. Actually, um, an interesting week this week, there's a lot of strikers that um, could get it, and um, I've actually included a lot of strikers in my team. Anyway, as always guys, let me know in the below who you think could get any form this week, and if you leave like a sphere, that would be absolutely awesome. Could be a very interesting Team of the Week this week, I will say that right now. So we'll start off with the goalkeeper. I went with Kiko Casilla. Um, the goalkeeper spots were actually really hard to choose from. There weren't too many standout keepers this week. But um, yeah, I went with Kiko. Kept clean sheet and made multiple saves in his game. So um, yeah, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, let's move on. Gonzalo Rodriguez. This guy made a great tackle, put in an awesome performance and scored a goal in a 2-1 win for Fiorentina over Milan. So that's a pretty good performance. This guy has been over June in form, in my opinion. Been really good for Fiorentina. We've got Alaba in again at centre-back. This is a card I really, really want to happen because it will be absolutely awesome if he does get it. Did score a goal in a 4-0 win for Bayern. So, um, hey-ho, we might get it. Who knows? But let's be honest, that is going to be one OP card if he does get it. Moving on to Elisiu, another one of my favourite players. Goal and a clean sheet in a 2-0 win for him. And, um, yeah, he's just an awesome left-back. So well-rounded would be a great inform if it did happen. We've got Gareth Bale next. Probably will be the star of the team of the week if he does get it of course two goals in a 2-0 win for Real Madrid am I going to be able to get my hands on it to review it probably not because it's going to be an insta bin and EA going to make him like a stupid price and uh yeah he might be a bit of a nightmare to get hold of but hopefully if he does get it I will be able to pick him up moving on to Aaron Ramsey now this one is between Ramsey and Carrick for the inform. There's um, obviously Carrick putting a good performance against Tottenham. Ramsey putting a good performance against QPR. Goal and an assist for Ramsey, and I believe the same for Carrick. So uh, who knows what will happen? I definitely think one of them will get it, but not both. Anyway, I went for Ramsey. Let's move on to the next player. We've got Eremenko from the Russian League. Two goals in a 4 0 win for his side. And he actually looks like a decent inform. Very cheap, and overall, very, very nice stats on that guy. Hamuna, this will actually be his second inform. Three assists in a 3 2 win. For his side and looking at the card once again very very nice attributes on it as i say i just put the stats a little bit and this card looks absolutely awesome we've got divok or origi um in striker this is a position change he scored a hat trick one of them was a penalty which may cost him but he did score a hat trick in a 3-0 win for his team and uh, let's be honest this might actually be a pretty nice card and hopefully it'll be a bit cheap as well Best silver in my team of the week, and we've gone for Sanson. Two goals and an assist in a 4 1 win for him. Looks like a very nice silver indeed. And then we move on to Benteke, which brings me on to like another decision. It was out of Benteke and a Bonnehaw. And after making the team, I, I'm really still unsure. I don't know if they're going to give it to Benteke or a Bonnehaw, but um, yeah, it depends how EA are feeling, I suppose. Two goals for both of them in a 4 0 win for Aston Villa. Onto the bench then. As I say, I was struggling with goalkeepers, I really was. In the end, I went with Forster, who we put in a good performance on the weekend, made six saves in a 1-1 draw, but the fact that he did concede may obviously cost him, so uh, yeah. Then we've got Sulu up next, two goals and a clean sheet for him in a 5-0 win. Another, another defender here once again, two goals and a clean sheet in a 5-0 win. And then we're going to get pretty interesting with four strikers in which we've got Ruiz, we've got Pittman, we've got Garner, and we've got uh, Milano. Now, I just didn't know which one to drop, so in the end, I put all of them in. It might be a bad decision, it might cost me on points this week, but um, yeah, I just didn't know who to drop. Ruiz got himself a hat-trick in a 4-1 win. Pittman, three goals in a 4-0 win. Garner, four goals in a 5-1 win. And finally, Milano, four goals and an assist in a 5-1 win. Surely he's got to be nailed on, but the other three, these ones... I'm honestly not too sure about who will get dropped. Anyway, guys, that is my Team of the Week predictions for this week. Let me know in the comments below who you think could get an inform. Let me know who you agree with and you, who you disagree with. And apart from that, have a very good day. Adios. Hey, what's up, guys? Scoundrel here, and welcome to episode number 10 of Messi's Mission. Now, just a quick apology for not uploading over the weekend. I tried to win the Irish Cup tournament, and I couldn't. I'm sorry I'm bad at FIFA. And I don't know why I just couldn't play with them Irish players. So, uh, yeah, a positive for me being bad at FIFA. Anyway, guys, let's get into this episode. Can we smash up a fringe like on the